Hi, today I'm going to show you my recent, most recent innovation, and that is how to make a lawnmower sharpening tool out of your radial arm saw, which puts a very professional, perfectly even cut on both sides. It takes the same amount of material off both sides to keep the balance. And uh, it makes a very short work and, and you have a cut that looks like it was done in a machine shop. <clears throat> and what you see here is a DeWalt four inch <clears throat> vise purchased at Royal King for $22. Here <clears throat> you see the bolts that tie it down. <clears throat> On the bottom, we see this wing nut, and there's a washer and two rubber washers to dial in this, the tension I want on this so that it can't move up and down. <clears throat> Yet it will slide when I use this push bolt <clears throat> in the back of the vise. I centered up and drilled a <clears throat> pointed hole to hold this bolt perfectly in uh, in alignment and then I drill or uh, machined a point which you could do with a grinder on this push bolt and when I turn this on it just misses the blade and I'll turn this and it'll push the vise in now to control this vise from side to side movement you see angle iron is on both sides and that angle iron presses just lightly against the sides of that vise so it can't go this way and these bolts with these tensioning grommets keeps the vise from moving up and down to make sure it gets a clean cut so here we go i'm ready to turn it on adjust it and uh show and you can watch it cut <coughs> Now, as you see here, it's not touching, so I'm going to use this tensioner here to dial it in. As you see, I'm starting to make the cut. Now I want just a little more metal taken off, so I'm going to dial in just a little more here with this tension. Now I'm going to just do one more, because I don't, what I don't want to do is take excess material off and shorten the life of the blade. So here we go. I'm going to dial it in about an eighth of a turn. Normally, without this iPad here in the way, I would stand right in front of it. With this. And there you have it. Now I tested the prototype on my woodworking radial alarm saw. I was lucky enough to get this one from for free from a friend. Had to do a little refurbishing, not much. But all I did was clamp this vise down on my table, turn the head 90 degrees, take off the blade, put on the grinding wheel. And what you want probably best is a, an eight inch by one inch um, fine or medium grit wheel puts the best edge on but actually you can use this concept on your working radial alarm saw and not really change anything other than turning the head taking the blade off putting the grinding wheel on and clamping the vise in the proper position and i'll tell you what it works very well should should do a good job on my big old bad boy lawnmower blades and all other blades that we've got another zero turn and it's going to shorten the work and make it very professional looking and make it a very short easy job thank you